Oh yes, lots and lots of stuff. We'll take a look after we colonize those worlds because before that we can't actually see what well um, underdeveloped plant plantoids actually means. Uh, tenant system. Oh wow, that looks complicated. Well, you little shippy, you will travel ten rounds left. Tenan, let's look. Let's take a look. Oh, single little world. Red one, average minerals. Well, if we have to, as long as we don't have to take this world, we'll what? And you, task force, scout, travel downwards here. And now we'll take a look here. Oh, um, uh, yes. I, I, uh, I already took a look. Well, not much to do, not much to do now. Uh, we'll get an additional ship. Nice if there's a point. If we find a few more star lines, we'll need to explore finance. What's up in our book? Uh, a bit more money. Doesn't hurt. Oh, uh, let's talk. Ah, yes. Our homeworld has cut disturbance civil unrest in half thanks to our earlier gambit with the imperial order on our oppressor meter and here it is high since well there is not much protecting our colonies even in our home system and where was it demography unrest oh well Texas, and because they're annoying gits, oh yeah. government deers and so on are on their way, so we'll just let them be. Next round. Ah yes, our first little reconnaissance ship. Sooner or later we will need more colony ships, well, but we also need more military units, so I'll let it be, or let it be. Mining industry and Blamor is, has been found and explored. Blamor, well, Outpost Task Force travel again. So, and so. Well, we could build a new task force with our single little ship, all this fuck, but we'll wait until there is actually a target for for the exploration. Mitsa, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll colonize a third world and then we'll send a colony ship to Mata B. Next round. Oh, Araatan Lebudak wants to help our government. And mining operations go up again. Cycle 15, round 10. Oh, and Yvonne. 25% chance to find and capture enemy spies, plus 25% uh, better spies, offensive spies, <laughs> 25% more aggressive spies, but we'll lose taxation again, and, well sorry, but we we'll can only have four of you guys and I'll need everything I can get. And spies are well useless. And silicoid spies are useless times two. Twenty five percent more is still not much. Ah yes, go on, go on. Hyper magnet impulse engine. Ah yes. That is something I will explain <laughs> to a later date, since I will re really tax my command of English to explain my own little translation experiments. Well, nothing much. Still no enemies inside, luckily, since we're weak, weak, weak. Ah, one idiot is over here. Uh, 
Ron Warren is downsized and a second and Valis Sabinovsky Sabinovsky has come. Aha. Uh -huh. Less disturbance, more recreation, and we'll lose a bit taxation. Imperial Well, you you little little whatever you are. You uh Ajada some kind of um well, alien. I'll explain it if, if we actually find a planet, because... Hey, wait a minute. Encyclopedia? Let's look if we can actually use that thing. Rent civilizations. Ah, yes. A bit. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. That was a bit much. Let's go up. Nolams, Illyrians, Martian. A Martian that was. that species that got blown up in the intro. Bulati, Rhea, Zygur, Ardria, Ajada, Protoplasmide. Ah, yes. Like giant amoeba. Oh, okay. That explains whatever that thing was, but now that giant amoeba is one of our leaders. Ah, yes. People are weird. How the heck uh, did he get that much votes for our parliament? Well, now he is Prime Minister. Prime Minister Amöber. Ah, acceptable, acceptable, acceptable. Let's go on. Ah, yes. Mining operation go up. First relevant technologies are at least visible still far off and oh well immigration on and one two rounds la later we'll have our third world and you'll stop annoying me will you ah yes we we'll can sort through industry so uh, now our homeworld will automatically be the first option. And yes, colony, army, colony. Just what we need. And now... Ah yeah, next round. Here, here we can see our AI in action. Star Colony is built the same round. Task Force is ordered to colonize Mata B6. And yes, exactly, that is the world I want. Thank you very much. Now we'll... Ah, no. We'll need more colony ships. We we'll can make all those stupid little starships go obsolete sooner or later and build our own with new technology. Research, how goes what on? Level 2, level 3, level 3, level 2, level 3. Well, uh, most of our weapons will come through mathematics, energy or physics. The rest, well, it's neat. So, for example, most of our army units will come from sociology, but, well. Ships rule. If you have, if you have a warship hanging in high orbit above your home world, then you have already lost. So, we'll concentrate on those three things for the time being. Ah, yes, our army goes up, our research goes up, uh, level up for, for all our little things, and our strange HMI engine can now be b a bit smaller because we research and miniaturized version. Our scientists can now build smaller hyperinfusors. 5% more volume for other stuff. Nice, nice, nice. And I honestly don't know... Uh, I honestly do, don't know anymore what I changed and what not. Well, laser cannon. Conversion from a melting laser of, of asteroid mines. 
Ah yes, since you know those are a little splinter group here that actually doesn't know about most of what has happened in the rest of the Orion sector so they don't have that many weapons in the beginning. So they all have to research stuff. Another changes. I renamed that Striker and that Lancer. In Vanilla the Lancer is actually the smallest part but I just renamed stuff from the translation. The Lancer was called Aufklärer a reconnaissance ship or something like that. And I did like it, so I renamed it to something I like. Not much to say here, until we actually re research some of those fancy things here. Well, now let's get on with it. Uh, a new colony. And now, well, let's take a look. New colony. Ah, yes. So harmless looking, but overgrown with deadly crystals. We'll still need a bit more mining, but we'll also need government to keep them quiet and research. Research and industry. So. Later on we can just forget all of this and we will after our 160th colony and then the AI will simply take the hands and grab our luck and will drown it. But now we're still in the beginning. Ah, the PP. Ah, yes, the pa particle projector cannon. Particle projector gun. Wow, this is something that really sounds better in German, but well, too late now. <laughs> Regional flag batteries, better defense for less money. Colony ship is on the way. Building, building, building. New colony ship is built soon. But we we'll don't really have another colony. Well, we can just send it to Mata B and speed things up. Star Colony is built. Misa 5 gets new people. And yes, yes, exactly. Sent to the same world. Let's take a look. Immigration is actually not needed anymore. We'll control this place. Ah, sorry. Overview. Unit. Ziel Mata B6. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes, we have 1.4k plus 9 next round uh, money but really even with the ultima mod this thing is rather unreliable so we, for finances we have to take a look here and lo and behold it's actually correct ah, I'm a bit nonplussed in my experience often it's ludicrously wrong but well one of the things our uh, little models actually changed for the better. Ah, yes. Additional research, which actually only works with most of your worlds, are controlled by the AI because worlds you control by yourself, well, they aren't changed. A little nice thing to know. Because later on, if you have dozens and dozens of important research worlds all controlled by yourself, then additional research will just spend money for literally nothing or almost nothing in return. Another wonderful trap. Yeah, yes. It's 
everything looks so uh, so freaking useful, but the AI is bad enough that most of those things will just let on average, only adjusting one or two little points here and there, and then you forget about it and you'll never notice. Ah yes, next round. Ah, new solar systems found and explored. And new mining canopus found. And you can travel again. Canopus. New worlds. Yellow, yellow, red. Well, not that much of a world. But yellow one is and rich in minerals and large. Everything is a okay with you. Star colony, star colony. Yep, yep, yep. Everything a okay. Helos. Yep, that was the second system. And now. Now eight rounds, six rounds. We'll take the long route since now we'll actually can use our little reconnaissance shippy ship. Reconnaissance and something fancy looking like first hmm the dum dum Royal Ah uh, let's first reconnaissance squ squadron. Let's keep it simple. And now this little squadron will travel 21 rounds up here. And we'll look for new worlds here. Red 2, red 2, red 2, red 2. Completely useless, at least now. Later on we'll research nifty technologies to change all that. Or we'll have to take those worlds to prevent enemies from taking them, but now we we'll can just safely ignore them. And now, ah yes, I know, next round. Christirin Hagin, a new leader, wants to lead us, and a new star line. Between suns we'll have to reach sooner or later. Now, more research, more luck in espionage, and less um, now we have minus 2%, but well, plus 5% research. Uh, good enough. We have two, two slots free, so we can hang on to that guy. Recreation deer is built, and new system has been found. Yes, go on. Nizza. Red 2 and Red 2, both useless as fuck. Ah yes, the new task force. Something I should mention is, in vanilla if you order the task force to deploy, then it took an entire round until it w well happened. You couldn't actually control it in the same round you deployed it. And in the next round you could, and you get the message in system so and so, you, a new task force has been formed. Well, since this is the ult Ultima Orion mod, you can actually deploy and order your ships around in the same round. But the message system is hard coded, so you get, well, in game a few years later, the, the in the next round, the message your ships have been deployed. When in reality, your ships have already traveled halfway to whoever they are supposed to go. Ah yes. Next round. New colony ship sent to Canopus 2. Well, yes, acceptable. ECM 1 can be researched. Mass driver miniaturization 1 can be researched. Nothing much to mention. Except for this. Go. Go away. We'll need more colony ships until we actually find a potential enemy. The enemy, then then we we'll can build more ships with the best tech available, so we can blow enemies away. 
Ah, uh, yes. Nothing much to see. Ships are on the way. And that's all there is to say. Five to six rounds and new technologies will be there. Ah, three rounds and then we'll know to actually armor our ships with, well, light armor. Mata B6. First colony ship landed. And you can now actually... Well, you more armies, more infantry units, times ten. Sooner or later we will have to build other stuff or just... Well, take it off the AI, because the AI will just flood your inventory with either military units or useless ships if you just uh, don't just stop it. Manipulation manner. Well, you will take the AI off completely. Option two, you'll take all your old ship designs and make them obsolete. Then the AI can't actually build stuff you don't want. And that's it. Well, we have done a bit. And I'll just stop the recording since... Well, the sun is coming up and I think I'll just stop now. And well, we'll just jump to the next round, ah, uh, and then stop. Well, that's the White Doctor, and I'll well say goodbye until next time.